Fresno State quarterback Derek Carr. Yeah, I'm reading all of this stuff about Derek Carr. A couple of months ago, guy says Cleveland Browns love Derek Carr. Arizona loves Derek Carr. Derek, everybody must love you. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hopefully come draft day they still do. Okay, but um, how, <laughs> how do you sort out when you think somebody's really telling you the truth here? Uh, you know, that's the hardest part is, you know, you listen to everything that they tell you, but, you know, it's so hard to, you know, believe because you've never been around them. You know, it's the first time you're meeting them, and so it's it's hard to, you know, understand what they're telling you, if it's true or not. Okay, when you go home and you talk to your wife, now, what does she want to know? Because she's involved in this. She's going to be relocating. So what do you tell her or what she want to know when you do these workouts or you have a, you know, an interview with a team? Oh, yeah. She, uh, you know, first of all, you know, she asks how it went and, you know, she wants to know, you know, how, you know, how are the coaches, you know, how are the, how are the players over there? If you met any or things like that. And then, uh, you know, she wants to know, you know, were they interested in all these things? That way she can, you know, kind of start looking for houses in about 20 different cities. So she's, get, she's getting ready for all that. <laughs> Do they look at it as you being married as a positive? Oh, absolutely. You know, they like it. Um, you know, one thing they always, uh, you know, tell me is they love, uh, you know, how mature I am, you know, having my wife, having a son. Uh, you know, they, they love it. You know, they do. And they're, you know, the biggest thing is they're excited, you know, to meet them, you know, if I do go to that city, you know, so it, it's pretty cool, you know, uh, to have them because, you know, they're, they're part of the team just as much as I am. I saw where uh, there was a quote attributed to you that you said, you know, I'm a little uncomfortable answering this, but absolutely I'm the best quarterback in the draft. Um, I, I, it's, it seems like you have to answer that, don't you? Or you don't answer the question at all. It's either one or the other, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You know, th- th- I can promise you, you know, there's no competitor <laughs> you'll play in this game that's going to say, you know, uh, oh, yeah, uh, you know, I think that, you know, you should pick, you know, Johnny, Blake, and Teddy before me. You know, I, absolutely <laughs> not. You know, <laughs> and if they are, yeah, I guarantee you, no one's going to want that guy leading their football team. Okay, who's and, the uh, second best quarterback in the draft? If you're the best, who's the best? <laughs> this is a oh, tougher man. question now. That That is a tougher question. Um you know, I think I'd have to trade back up and get my rights again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, I got you're you're going to be the quarterback coach. Who do you want to coach <laughs> in the NFL of all of these guys coming out now? You want Johnny Football? Yeah, you want oh, Bortles? Man. Who do you want? You know, they're all so talented, man. They all got great things that they do. Uh, you know what? To give you an honest answer, I'd have to watch more film. Oh, on you're scrambling <laughs> here, Derek. Come on. How much? How much other football did you watch this year with the other quarterbacks? Oh man, uh, you know I, I watched a little bit. You know I'm a football fan. You know, but it's different watching on TV than watching the the film. <laughs> do you play other sports growing up? I do. Uh, I did. I, I played. You know, anything in baseball. I ran track. Played basketball. All those. Um. Your uh, your older brother played in the NFL, and and I I I saw this with there were there was criticism because they they're basing you on your brother, and you're a different quarterback, and you're what ten years apart. I I how did that affect you when all of a sudden it's a negative because David played in the NFL, number one overall pick. Oh man, it, it was just it was again it was one of those things that you you just you know you smile at you know you just you know you laugh at because you know the guy's going on. You know, like you said, he's 12, 13 years in the NFL. You know, he was the number one overall pick for a reason. And, uh, you know, uh, to me, there there's so many positives to take from that. Uh, that uh, It was just something that, that I definitely laughed at. Your uh, your number is four. Why? Uh, I'm a big Brett Favre fan. You know, what he does on the field, the way he plays, even when he was – you know, seemed like 60 years old playing out there. He was still having fun. You know, wait, wait, why didn't you take fun. your brother's number? Oh, no, I, I couldn't be. You know, I, I picked the same school. I played the same position. <laughs> you know, there was already too much alike, so I couldn't couldn't wear the same number. Do you play like Farb does? A little bit, a little bit. You know, I do like, you know, throwing the ball up downfield. I do like taking chances because when they work, you know, I've heard him, heard him say when they work, you know, it's a great thing in the meeting the next day. I noticed this, that uh, hand size is a big deal at the combine. Did you know this? Oh, yeah. They, they always talk about it. You, know, you always hear about it. Oh, okay. where? 
<laughs> How big are your hands, Derek? <laughs> They're over. They're over nine inches. What, what does that mean? Stuff. What is? <laughs> is that is that a good thing, Derek? That's a good thing. Oh, okay. All right. There's there's some teams that you know I will never say who, but they literally say there's coaches that won't take a quarterback if his hand is smaller than nine inches. It, it's crazy. <laughs> and and you're six three. Are you a legit six three? I am six three. Yeah, I'm six three. But at the combine, you know, they make you stand kind of at an angle, so you're six two. But <laughs> you know, every, every other time in my life, I've been six three. So right around there. Yeah, that's another thing. Your hand size and your height. All of a sudden, that makes you a better quarterback. I I don't. I just don't buy into that. Certainly you know, not the height you know, part of it. You know, I'm with you. There's a lot of guys. You know that. Uh, you know, like Russell Wilson. He did. A, I mean, he did a heck of a job. Guy won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you know, sometimes it matters. With guys, and but you just gotta watch how they throw on film. You know, sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, uh, and that's for decision makers way above my pay grade. Do you know who is going to draft you right now? Like, if we were talking privately, or you're talking to your brother, and you say, "Hey, look, man, this team, I, I really get the feeling they're going to draft me." Do you know that right now? Oh my gosh, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, it'd be a lot easier to know where to send my stuff. Okay, <laughs> uh, has your wife started looking in Cleveland or Arizona? <laughs> I promise, she's looked at. There, there's honestly, there's like twelve to thirteen places that are legitimate that she's looking at for houses. So. Okay, <laughs> tell me, tell me one that would surprise me. Which city your wife is looking in for houses? <laughs> I can't. I can't do that, or else the team is going to be marked off the list. They're not going to want me. <laughs> uh, New New England. <laughs> uh, they might be. They might be one of them. I'd have to check her list. <laughs> Are you told you're the next Tom Brady? Oh no! You know what? I haven't been told that. You know, uh, you know, we're kind of different players. We play a little bit different, so I haven't been told that one. Uh, did you ever go hungry at night? Uh, you know that we we saw this with Shabazz Napier that uh, you know he, he went to bed hungry sometimes at UConn. So you know, here you are with a wife, you got a child. How how were you taking care of at Fresno State? You know what? Um, our athletic department did a great job. You know, getting us food and doing things like that. But I can say that. You know, I did have teammates that, uh, you know, whether they had to send some money back home or whatever, that towards the end of the month, they, they didn't have anything to eat for a couple of days or sometimes weeks. And, uh, you know, just tried to have them over at the house and, you know, feed them, give them some food. Uh, if we had any extra money left over, um, you know, we really just tried to take care of each other. So um, I didn't ever have that problem, but I could see, you know, where others did. And, uh, you know, it's kind of cool that, you know, they can have unlimited meals now. Yeah, but I don't even know what that means, Derek. I like is the cafeteria stay open all night? Like I what does this mean? And you get snacks, unlimited snacks. What what does that yeah. mean? Well, you know, it used to be like the if anyone within the department, you know, if you asked for a snack, they could only give you, you know, a certain amount, like a little handful and it had to be raisins or, you know, nuts <laughs> or something like that. You know, it it was crazy. You know, oh, it, you know, some guys some guys are coming off a workout and then didn't have time or uh, they already ate their meal for that day, and they couldn't go get another meal. And so, you know, it, it was it was hard. You know, sometimes it was hard, uh, but it was just, you know. So I think, you know, I guess they can give you, you know, some more spaghetti or something now. So I don't know. And you missed it. Now you're out. Now the free snack yeah, era. No. You missed it. You missed it. <laughs> I missed it. the snack era. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Well, uh, good luck. And just to full disclosure, I said back during the season that Cleveland loved you. I was told. And I know they've changed the front office, but I don't know. (laughs) Is there any questions that you have for me that I can help you with, you know, Cleveland, if that's where you end up? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, I I wanted to ask you if your boy McLevin thought I was a system quarterback as well. Wow. Wow. Uh, is, is, is Derek, Derek Carr a system quarterback? He's more of a, a family system quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't play like his brother does. Uh, it's a coincidental that his brother, really good quarterback. He's a quarterback. Sounds like a system to me, Dan. <laughs> uh, tell, tell David, I said hello. Uh, I remember when he first got drafted and we had lunch in, uh, Louisiana in new Orleans and, uh, I will. A, I will. a, somebody to look up to. And I'm sure you did, but, uh, he was, he was a very good guy, a gentleman. So, uh, tell him I said hello. I will. I appreciate it. Thank you again uh, for having me. All right, buddy. Good luck. Thank you, Derek. That's uh, Derek Carr, Fresno state quarterback.